Hey everyone, welcome back to Kingdom Dancer. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 dance tips for freestyling in front of an audience. Let's get straight into talking about freestyling. Number one, let your body move however it wants to. Don't overthink. Unless you're given specific criteria to follow on how you should freestyle, move however you want to. The point of freestyling is to dance carefree because you're not having to focus on choreography that has already been made. You just dance however you want to. It's that simple even though sometimes it can be hard not to overthink. You're dancing in your own way and your own style. How you dance is unique and different from everyone else. Number two, don't make eye contact. If you're in class and you stare at people as you dance, it can start to psych you out. A lot of times when I'm dancing and I start to stare at a specific person that is watching me, it can psych me out and it could cause you to second guess your dancing, especially if they have a poker face and you can't tell what they're thinking. So it just looks like they're staring at you, like judging you. Really, usually they're not judging you. They're, it's just you judging you. You are too focused on how other people are thinking of you. Look all around in different ways. Don't just stare straight ahead of you at the mirror or the audience whether you're in a class setting or on a stage. Look around, don't stare directly at them either. It can psych you out. Number three, try not to care what other people think. I know, I know, this one is hard. Caring about what other people think will throw you off and cause you to hesitate while dancing. And it will cause you not to give your all and go as full out as possible because you're too focused on what other people are thinking of you. Unless it's your teacher or a fellow um, dance friend giving you feedback or constructive criticism after your, your freestyle, you should not be worrying about what they're thinking about you as you're dancing. That is something that will completely throw you off if you focus too much on, what's that girl over there thinking? What is she thinking as I'm dancing? Am I doing things right? Don't worry about it. You should not be caring for other people's opinions as you're dancing. Number four, if you fall or mess up, make it a part of the dance. I know that falling can be embarrassing unless you make it a part of the freestyle. One of the best parts about improving is that no one knows what your freestyle is supposed to look like. Only you do. Only you know what you're thinking of doing. So if you mess up, try to cover it up with another dance move to make it look purposeful like let's say you felt like you're about to slip how about you just slide into the split to get out of that situation of falling or roll out of it or something to make it look like you purposefully did that number five it doesn't matter if you're repetitive if you do the same move for a little while who cares sometimes you need a little repetition to think about what comes next my dance teacher always would tell me that it is okay if you're a little repetitive. It is not the end of the world. Everyone at one point was repetitive as they're doing their freestyle because you're coming up with something on the spot. It is not going to be perfect and that is okay. Number six, don't compare yourself to other dancers. Comparing yourself with others can cause you to doubt your capability to freestyle. It's okay if someone is more experienced than you are. It is not a competition and you shouldn't be comparing yourself. We all dance in different levels and unique ways. This is something that I struggled with when I first started to dance in front of my class. Every week we'd be freestyling and each person would go one by one. And it was hard not to think about, wow, that person is way better than I am or I feel like I wish I was as good as they are. But now I know not to allow myself to think those thoughts. I try not to compare myself and I remember that everyone else is different 
than I am. They may have been dancing longer. They might have more experience, take more classes. It's okay. Although I try my best to do all I can when I'm dancing, I try not to put myself down and you guys shouldn't either. It takes some time to get used to this because I know that there can be hesitation when you're freestyle dancing for the first time. So believe me, it is still a work in progress to this day for me to not compare myself to other people. Number seven, listen closely to the music patterns. Listen closely to the song and allow yourself to really feel the music. Let your body flow with the music and pay attention to the tone of the song, the way their voice sounds, the beats, and the overall instrumental of the song. It is so important to dance to all those components of a song so that you're not missing what you're actually dancing to. Sometimes when people are dancing, they forget what they're actually dancing to. They kind of want to just skip right through the freestyle and get it over with and they're flailing themselves around. It's okay to take your time and really think about what you're doing, but also not overthinking, but really taking your time, just allowing yourself to move freely with the music and having intention with your moves. So don't miss the song that you're dancing to. Don't just only think about dancing and not think about the song because it is super important to pay attention to the song as you are dancing to it. It is something that many of my teachers have told me repeatedly is to pay attention to the music. Number eight, don't be afraid to try something new. Sometimes when you are freestyling, you try to stick with what's comfortable, stick in your comfort zone, or a lot of times we uh, do things that are not hard for us to do, like just things that come naturally, but we don't always wanna go out of the box and do something different. For example, I used to not wanna do floor work in my freestyles because I know that's not my strong suit. That is something that I am not that good at. So I used to try to avoid the floor at all costs, but then eventually I learned to let go and just go to the floor if it feels right to go to the floor. Don't be afraid to try something new because you're afraid it might look weird or not look right. Sometimes it looks weird and it's okay. Number nine. Don't try to copy or model what someone else is doing. You can't move like someone else and they can't move like you. Well, at least for freestyling. Be yourself. Express who you are through your dancing. Freestyling is a time where you can let go and do whatever your body feels like doing. And you can't do that when you're trying to copy what the other person is doing. Even if they look really good and they're dancing really good, that doesn't mean you have to do the same thing because they did a couple pirouettes. That doesn't mean you should break out on a couple pirouettes in the exact same way they did it. Or if they move certain ways, don't try to mimic them. Have your own sense of style in the way you dance. Express who you are through your dancing. Number 10, the last and final tip. Fully embody the song with facial expressions as if you're acting out the emotion of the song. It's like telling a story or acting out a character. The audience should be able to know what you're feeling based on your facial expressions and your movements. It all comes together to become like one big story if you're using those facial expressions. If you're sad, you're looking having a glum look on your face. If you're excited, you want to be smiling and big and reflect that in your movements with your facial expressions. It is a very key important part to dancing in general as well as freestyling. I also pray to God in Jesus' name right before I freestyle and I just spend some time asking him to help me to freestyle to the best of my capability. I just imagine that no one else is around and he's the only one watching and it helps me greatly to not worry about other people watching since my mind has stayed on him. I think that is all the tips I can give today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you on the next video. not no <clears throat> music and <clears throat> I'm sorry super
because it is su super important to pay it or it does <clears throat> as you're dance freestyling. Mm-hmm. <laughs>